Evan Scrooge, sit down. <gasps> sit down. Sit down and know me better, man. I take it you are. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Look upon me. You have never seen the like of me before? Never. You have never walked forth with my elder brothers or sisters born in these later years? I I'm afraid not. Do you have many siblings? <laughs> More than 2,000. A tremendous family to provide for. Tell me, was it a bunk bed situation? What about the mornings when everyone had to use a bathroom at the same time? Tell me, how did that work? <laughs> Marley was right about you. What? What? Listen, okay, look, whatever. Just. Take me, show me what you're going to show me. Uh, I learned from the last ghost who just tried to shove life lessons down my throat that you don't screw with spirits. <laughs> so please, I I'm yours. Uh, show me what you're going to show me. Teach me your lessons. I want to profit from your knowledge. <laughs> Watch. Behold. Christmas morning, the sky is gloomy, the streets choked up with a dingy mist as if all the chimneys in town were blazing away to their heart's content. There may be nothing cheerful in the climate or the town, yet there's an air of cheerfulness that would make the brightest summer sun envious. <laughs> The shops remain half open as people fetch their final ingredients for their Christmas dinners, greeting the day with a heightened joy and appreciation. See how they embrace? I'm gonna stop you right there. Riddle me this. How is it that you choose to rob people, innocent people, of their enjoyment of the holiday? Excuse me? You want to deprive them of a day's work. You seek to shut down the economy for an entire day setting them back a day's wages, thereby reducing their means and spoiling their opportunity to buy these simple things that bring them so much joy and appreciation. I wish to deprive them. Well, I could be wrong. I'm just saying that every year it's uh, all done in your name, or at least yours or someone of your family. There are some upon this earth of yours who claim to know us, and who do their deeds of passion, pride, ill will, hatred, envy, bigotry, and selfishness in our name, who are as strange to us as if they had never lived. Remember that, and blame their actions on them, not on us. Very well. Sorry to interrupt. Continue. Around the world, people embrace the day with what they have and who they have. In a mining town, an old man and woman sit with their children, and their children's children, and another generation beyond that. Others overseas embrace their peers with a kinder word on this day than on any other day in the year, for they cannot see their families. And then we have those who embrace their peers simply because their families will not see them. Okay, guys, final round. Phones ready? Ready. Let's go. Meow. I believe that's your niece. Yes, Fran. What is she doing? Playing games with friends by the looks of it. Pity you aren't there. But, but I was invited. Shh, the game's starting. Question one, the worst thing you can find in a Christmas stocking. Vote now. Severed foot, that's funny. Oh, okay. uh, how do I vote, Spirit? You're not playing. Who wouldn't vote for the severed foot? It was hilarious. Question two, the hottest Christmas carol of 2020 just dropped. It's called, You're a Mean One, Mr. Blank. Vote now! <laughs> oh, cheap shot, guys! Sorry, Fran, it was too easy. Well, you still got my vote! Quit smash! Wasn't exactly original. Round three. 
Santa is launching an environmental campaign and encouraging the reindeer to pee on blank. Vote now. Fran! You naughty elf! Oh my god, Fran, you're bad. <laughs> We're good <Yeah. bad. laughs>
Ben. Bless. Yes. Us. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone. God bless us, everyone. Okay, and now just one more time. Okay. God. Ben. La. <laughs> Godzilla. Godzilla blesses everyone. Spirit. Tell me if the child will live. I see a vacant seat. Who's the number one? And a hat without an owner. <laughs> carefully preserved. Godzilla. Godzilla. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. But what of it? He can help clear up those overcrowded hospital beds and serve mankind by decreasing the surplus population. That's not what I meant. Oh no? Then perhaps you can profit from my visit by learning to hold your tongue until you discover what the surplus population is and where it is. Will you decide who shall live and who shall die? It may be that in the sight of heaven you are more worthless and less fit to live than millions like this poor man's child. Children. Well, I, I, I don't see them. Are they yours? They sit beside you. A boy and a girl. The boy is ignorance. The girl is want. Beware them both, but most of all beware the boy, for on his brow I see that written which is doom. Unless the writing be erased. No. Spirit! Deny it! Slander those who tell it ye. Admit it for your factious purposes and make it worse. And bide the end. <laughs> Spirit!